The Youngstown police were busy this weekend fighting not only crime, but also raccoons. Police got several calls from homeowners about raccoons in their yards. But in this case, investigators don't believe they had rabies. First News reporter Molly Reed has been looking into this story and is live tonight with some important information. Yeah, Mandy, you can see we're right on the edge of Mill Creek Park here. And if we turn this way, this is Old Furnace Road. And you can see there's some houses down here. Now, this is one of the areas where police and the city have been getting a lot of complaints about these raccoons that they say are, quote, acting strange. Now, I talked to one of these homeowners down the street, Robert Cogasall, and he's actually a wildlife photographer. And he took some of the pictures when he was out in his front yard, and one of these raccoons approached him and his dogs. He said that he was walking around the raccoon's started following him and then they went inside and he eventually uh, eventually got someone over to euthanize it. He would stand up on his hind legs and which I never seen a raccoon do before and he would uh, show his teeth and then he would fall over backwards and go into almost like a comatose uh, condition. He'd be that way for a few minutes. He'd come out of it, walk around and then he'd do the same thing again. You see a, a raccoon give him a wide berth because it, they, when they can move uh, surprisingly fast if they have to. And, ag and again, Robert had a couple of friends that w do work with wildlife. He called one of them over and they actually euthanized that raccoon in the backyard. But there's been several calls this weekend to Youngstown police where the police officers actually had to go to homes and euthanize the raccoons. Now we did talk to ODNR today to find out what is going on. If this is not rabies, what is this disease and how can you protect yourselves? I said it might actually not be as easy as you think to protect yourself and your home. I'll tell you about that coming up tonight at 10 and 11. But for now in Youngstown, Molly Reed, WKBN 27 First News at 6.